Hello, everybody, and welcome to your fourth uh, C++ SFML Made Easy tutorial. Uh, so, in this tutorial, we're going to be uh, we're just gonna set up the foundation for the for the splash screen class, and and hopefully we're going can get into transitioning from the splash screen and the the splash screen and the and another class and like another title screen class or something. Okay. So we know that the splash screen is inheriting from the game screen, and uh, if we go to game screen dot h, we can see that these are all virtual methods. So uh, if since they're virtual, we can override them. So what we're gonna do first of all is we're gonna set them up. So we're gonna have a load content, and you know what? We can copy them from here because they're exactly the same. And all we have to do is just revert, um, move the virtual keyword. Uh, so, nope, they don't have the in here. Okay, so um, we have um our stuff in there, and um, so now it's up to do some, up to us to do something with it. Okay, so. Uh, what we're gonna do, uh, all we're gonna do is just display uh, text so, um, right now, but um, display SFML text, but text based on the the actual screen we're on. Okay, uh, so what we wanna do is uh, open up splashscreen.cpp, and we want to oh, sorry, we want to uh, create. Uh, the methods for these so first for load content and uh, we have unload content and then we have update and we have draw SF render window and window Okay, so now I, I don't know if I told you this because I haven't done an SFML tutorial in a while. Uh, but uh, the way we're going to do everything is that we're going to load the content when we need it. And when we don't need it anymore, we're going to dispose of it. And sorry for zooming in. So uh, the, what, we, what we need to load in right here is that we're going to say that... Um, um, do we really even need to load in anything? I'm not really uh, exactly sure so for now for now let's not say anything okay so for the splash screen all we're gonna draw is we're going to uh, draw some text to the screen uh, so so we do need a SF string um, splash screen so we do need a string and And we're gonna call that text. So um, t if we want, okay, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna add in a font as well. Uh, just so we can uh see what stuff we uh, different stuff we can do in the load content method. So I add in a font and I add in a text. Okay, so in our load content, we're gonna say that if not uh font dot if not font dot load from file it should be that uh probably because i didn't include sfml graphics okay so let's try this out again so not font doesn't work actually it should work we'll just test it out uh, if we get any errors then uh, we'll, see, we'll see so load from file and uh, we'll load in a default font, font one dot ttf. Uh, and if not, then we say stdcl uh, could not find the specified font. So uh, after that, for our text, 
we say set text and we're gonna set it to splash screen so if we go to our draw uh, command well, we're just gonna put just window dot draw and we're just gonna draw our text and we need to set the text to our actual font so I believe we do that by saying text dot set fonts yep and we put in our font in there okay so for our update um, we don't uh, f for update for now we won't we won't have anything for now but uh, we will be adding in things um, uh, soon so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a new class and this is gonna be a title screen Okay, so on the title screen, uh, it's going to the if you take the splash screen header file, uh, we could copy all this, okay, and we're gonna paste it in here. Uh, so just change splash to to title. Uh, so we try to change this to title. And just change this to title right here. Okay, so we got the same property. So now we just gotta, uh, you know what? We're gonna copy that from the CPP file as well, just to save time. Uh, actually. So just change this to title. And then here change the title as well. Okay. Uh so uh what we're so we got everything loaded and what the splash screen is gonna display the uh, the text uh, they're gonna display a splash screen the title screen is gonna display the text title screen so if we go to screen manager what we want to do is we want to have a screen manager dot uh, we want to go to screen manager dot h and we want to have a public function and we want to call this add screen okay and what that screen is is going to be uh, a game screen and uh, that screen is going to be the new screen that we're going to be switching to. Uh, so we're going to say void screen manager, add screen, game screen, and a pointer to the new screen. And then we're going to say that if they call this, then we're going to uh, we're going to say um, current screen. Uh, we're going to unload the content. Then we're going to delete the current screen and then we're going to set the current screen equal to the screen that we have and then we're going to call current screen uh, dot load content. So what did we just do there? Uh, we we unloaded the content on the, on the screen that we're currently displaying then we delete it so we remove all the contents from within that what is pointing to. And then we set it to a new value, uh, and then we load that content of that new value. Okay, uh, so therefore we don't have any memory leaks that way, and so on and so forth. So uh, if we go, if we go to our main.cpp, all we want to do is we want to call screen manager uh, get instance, uh, and we want to call initialize screen manager get instance uh, low content and right here we're gonna call the updates and last but not least we'll call the draw okay so uh, let's run this program see if you get any errors 
Okay, so we do got air. Okay, we never. Uh, what we got to do is include IO stream. So copy that, and then title screen dot h add it there as well. Okay, never mind. So IO stream. So let's run this. Uh, and our load content. Oh, I, I, I think I accidentally deleted it. Yeah. Okay, so that's this should be normal. A uh, window dot draw text text was not declared in the scope. Oh, it should be lowercase text. So in title screen, uh, change that to lowercase text. Okay, so now we don't have a font that we can actually load. Uh, so we're gonna have to load in a font. Uh, but uh, you know what? It's after 11 minutes for this video. So I'm gonna end this video here and I will finish it off in the next tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and bye.